Welcome to my December 19th video update. Uh, since last March, I uh, have changed some of the equipment I have. Uh, I've gotten rid of some things and I've purchased some new things. Um, in in uh, Jul July of 2015, I, I bought, the at that time, the new concept camera from Olympus, the Air, uh, the Air A01. It was, it's a camera that looks like a lens. Um, and I really loved it. It was, it was fun to use and uh, uh, used it a lot. It fit in my pocket easily. It was a great carry around camera. But in February, I started having problems with it to the extent that nobody else seemed to be having the same kind of problems. And uh, uh, I just got so frustrated. I tried everything I could and I ended up selling it. Uh, and uh, the uh, apparently it's working fine because I haven't gotten any feedback otherwise. Um, and to replace it, I bought an EPL 6. And I started my journey in the Micro Four Thirds uh, arena with an EPL-3 way back several years ago and then got an EPL-5 uh, five, uh, before jumping to um, um, OMD EM-10. Uh, but um, I got the EPL-6 because it, I was looking for something small, uh, smaller than the EM-1, it could be you know bigger than the iPhone, and something I could slip in my pocket easily with a lens on it and still be able to have a pretty decent camera with me. Uh, so the EPL-6 was great. Uh, but I was still, it wasn't as small as I really wanted. And the other camera that I had compared it to was the Panasonic GM5. Uh, so I ended up selling the EPL6 and I bought a uh, Panasonic GM5 in April. And uh, it is uh, tiny. Uh, it really just a little, you know, when you really compare them, it's just a little, a little bit smaller than the EPL6. But it seems really tiny, as you can see in the picture. Um, and in the picture I have a body cap lens, not a body cap, body cap but uh, with a BCL, you know, the body cap lens or a real pancake like the 20 millimeter, it really is pocketable. Uh, and I use this camera so much that I almost forgot how to use my EM-1. But that was in uh, April and in the beginning of June, uh, I got an opportunity for again at a good price to buy two used lenses, uh, the Panasonic 25 millimeter f1.4, uh, which was brighter than my 1.8 um, Olympus 25 millimeter, and uh, the um, much heralded uh, 45 mil Olympus 45 millimeter one. Oh, my 25 millimeter uh, Olympus lens. lens. Uh, so that you know kind of rounded up my my lens collection. Um, and in the end of June, or at the end of June, I went to the uh, Out of Chicago conference and happened to win a raffle, uh, a lens baby, and I found I really didn't like it. So I so sold that and, and, and replaced it with uh, a TG tracker, the uh, at that time somewhat new uh, Olympus um, action camera. And, and uh, it, it is fun to, fun to use. I don't use it quite as much as I uh, probably should, but I, it's, it has a 204 degree field of view, so it's a really wide field of view. It has, it has its places and it's waterproof, uh, even though I'd had the tough camera before and, and I got rid of it because I really wasn't using it and I wanted a, le a camera that had a re um, you know, interchangeable lenses. Uh, so that was in June and then in uh, the end of the summer, uh, actually, in August, I uh, we were watching our grandchildren, and I cleverly took my iPhone 6 with me into the pool. It was in my pocket, uh, and it never really revived. It drowned. Uh, fortunately, I uh, had it was up for a new contract in September, so I got an iPhone 7 Plus, and that's what I'm using to video these uh, uh, to, to record this video. So um, then. I started thinking more seriously about replacing the EM-1 with a smaller camera since I really like this GM-5. And I started getting intrigued with the uh, Olympus um, EM-5 Mark II, which was a relatively new camera. It had improvements over the EM-1 as far as uh, uh, video, some video capabilities and uh, five axis stabilization is apparently improved. So anyway, a lot of things that just sort of uh, made me think, well, that might be what I need. So I had an opportunity to compare it, you know, in my hand. Well, 
the, um, the end of that story is that uh, I had an opportunity and I just received it on Friday to buy a used EM5 Mark II because I was planning to sell my, Mark, my EM1 but the, uh, the deal I got on this was so good, I'm, I'm going to be able to keep my EM1 and maybe just sell a lens, like my 60 millimeter uh, macro. So this uh, comes with, it came with rather the grip uh, that makes, gives a little bit more heft, a little bit more bulk, it's nice to hold. And it is a little bit smaller than the EM1. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what I've got. Um, and it has some improved uh, uh, video capabilities. It has the fully uh, articulated uh, LCD that goes out like so, um, which is kind of handy, although I use my iPhone pretty much to monitor my video uh, when I'm recording with the EM1. Uh, so I'll do the same with the EM5, I'm sure. But uh, the other grip that came with it uh, is the one that has the extra battery uh, container and um, the microphone or the earphone output. So if I'm recording other people rather than myself, it'll be handy to have that. Okay, so that is uh, those are the new things that I have in my bag, and uh, particularly the uh, EM5 uh, Mark II and the iPhone 7 will show up in my uh, in in helping me improve my video recording. So again, thank you very much for checking in on this video update. And I look forward to having you back next week. Have a good day and a good week. <laughs>